Hi, welcome to a gradient descent, which is used to minimize the cost in uh, linear regression. A gradient descent is an optimization algorithm to change the parameters iteratively in order to find the best optimal cost function, which is close to the zero uh, to provide a better solution. The intuition behind the gradient descent is uh, here, let's consider a person is on the mountain peak. Suppose if you are having the uh, mountain, uh, here uh, the person is uh, standing over this uh, mountain. He wants to get down into the uh, downhill, right? So, he, uh, but there is the dense fog. Uh, the person wants to go, go down, uh, but the person can feel uh, the slope of the ground below their feet only he can feel the nearest uh, I mean uh, just uh, uh, 10 feet or 100 feet or um, uh, 200 feet behind that he unable to uh, look at that scenario because of dense fog but he wants to go down a good strategy is to reach the bottom of the valley quickly is uh, to go uh, downhill in the direction of the steepest slope. So he wants to find out the steepest slope uh, to reach the uh, bottom of the valley. So instead of he is going uh, in the different direction, suppose he, he is uh, standing here, he may go this direction or he can go this direction, he can go this direction or he can go this direction, but the, this this is the direction is better instead of going uh, uh, other directions. So he has to find out uh, this um, uh, direction which is reaches the uh, bottom of the valley uh, quickly. So for that we can approach apply the uh, gradient descent approach to reach the bottom of the valley quickly. It is measuring the local gradient of the error. Gradient in the sense the direction uh, which is moving uh, uh, by red, by uh, applying or uh, updating the parameter, updating the parameter theta, right? So here uh, the gradient is the function uh, which is used to update the parameter theta to reach the bottom of the valley directly, um, quickly in the direction of descending. So uh, when we are uh, reducing the value of the gradient, we can go with the gradient descent approach. Uh, once the gradient is zero or close to the zero, if it is zero, he reached the bottom uh, of the valley. Uh, close to zero means he is uh, uh, near to the uh, bottom of the valley that is close to the bottom of the valley that is the thing so uh, it indicates the person reached the bottom of the valley with the minimum I mean minimum distance just a hundred feet is there are 50 feet or 25 feet is there to reach his uh, uh, target place so we can apply the gradient descent approach in linear regression algorithm also to update the parameter to reduce the error close to zero by applying the uh, step by step at a time to decrease the error that is the cost function close to zero. The size of the steps is uh, determined by the learning rate parameter. Uh, the learning rate parameter is alpha here which is uh, used to uh, determine the step size uh, each step size of the person he is getting down into the uh, uh, getting down into the valley I mean the bottom of the valley from the steepest point of the uh, mountain so here we have to choose the learning rate uh, too small the algorithm takes many iterations here we are applying the number of iterations to reach the uh, downhill I mean to reach uh, to reach the minimum uh, error so when you are taking the learning rate steps is small when your person is walking uh, small steps he needs to make more number of steps he is taking the biggest step distance biggest step distance then he can reach uh, he can uh, go fast but there is the again a problem with uh, a different zigzag uh, uh, i mean position we will see that uh, in the forthcoming uh, slide so so the uh, this gradient descent can be apply uh, can be achieved by using the convergence theorem 
the formula is uh, theta j equal to theta j minus the learning rate alpha then partial differentiation of that total error with respect to the uh, parameters. So here j equal to 0 uh, and j equal to 1, right? Because here uh, we are taking the two parameters. That's why we are uh, applying the theta, I mean theta 0, theta 1. Uh, here um, for mean squared error already we know 1 by 2 by 1 by uh, 2m uh, summation, summation i equal to 1 to m uh, predicted value minus actual value whole square. Then here we have to apply the theta 0 uh, and theta 1. So theta 0 here uh, it's a common generalist uh, um, equation is theta j equal to theta j minus alpha divided by number of samples m uh, summation, like, summation of uh, predicted value minus actual value into this is the data point. So data point here we have to use for each and every uh, step. So if, it, if you take the theta 1 it will be x1. Uh, if you take theta 0 it will be the x0. So that is the uh, value, uh, I mean feature value, feature value of the ith sample. So now uh, the learning rate is determining the step size. You look at that, uh, if you take the alpha equal to 0 0.01, then you look at that the step size is very minimal. Step size is very minimal and each step the error is reducing, the cost is reducing total error total error is the cost average error or total error so it is reducing uh, one by one up, uh, at some time it will reaches the uh, uh, minimal error it is the minimum uh, cost minimum cost this is the iteration number so iteration number one uh, iteration number two iteration number three it may be iteration number 50 so here it is uh, reducing the error step by step by applying the minimum uh, learning rate so uh, here when you are applying the high learning rate there is the possibility of jumping the error uh, in different direction you look at that the first step the error is here the learning rate is if it is uh, 10 you look at that it is going to next direction it, so it should go this direction actually when when the person is in the mountain he has to uh, go towards the downhill bottom of the valley in this uh, direction quickly uh, to reach the uh, the bottom of the valley quickly but instead of that if he is moving this direction again it will take much time if he is moving this direction it will take much time that is the position when you are applying the uh, learning rate when you are applying the learning rate so high learning rate he is going in the horizontal direction instead of going downwards so the uh, when you are applying the uh, learning rate is high then there is the possibility of uh, 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 taking much time to reach the uh, minimum error so this is about the learning rate selection uh, for gradient descent and uh, the a learning rate is used to um, uh, give the shape so here you look at that whenever we are taking the minimum uh, learning rate so all functions does not give the regular shape like this regular shape is this is the regular shape so uh, the few functions may contain uh, different local minimums so more, more number of local minimums so you look at here this is one local minimum and uh, here this is one local minimum this is another local minimum this is one local minimum but this is the global minimum so a uh, few functions will create the uh, issues to reach the global minimum so the point the algorithm will think this is the global minimum but there is another uh, minimum value is available that is the global minimum so that kind of issue also possible in the uh, selection of a minimum learning rate uh, so here uh, the minimum mean squared error cost function for linear regression provides the convex function that is if the two points are selected on the curve the line segment joining them uh, which is never crossing the curve which is never uh, crossing that curve okay so that is the thing and uh, uh, this implies that there are uh, no local minima only one uh, global minimum is available you look at that here different lo uh, local minima is available uh, in the uh, above uh, 
uh, graph, but here there is no local minima. So for that, uh, we, we will select uh, the continuous function with a slope that never changes abruptly. So here uh, you can select the um, uh, optimal learning rate uh, to, to avoid the uh, uh, to avoid the local minima uh, issue. It leads to uh, grade, gradient descent guarantees uh, to approach the global minima uh, by using uh, the learning rate step size. Thanks for watching.